Hello, I'm Omer from Cat Labs. Today we're gonna to demonstrate how to load and use the Polaroid Instant Pack Film Holder, also known as a 405 holder, uh, which we refurbish and sell. Uh, the first thing you wanna do when you uh, use these bags before you load it is make sure that the rollers are clean. And the way to do that is to open it and take out the rollers, kinda of clean them out. We recommend that you use an alcohol swab or a water doused uh, paper towel to make sure that there's no gunk and residue on these. These are pretty clean. We'll put them back. You go in and snap in place. And we're going to put the back down for a minute. The pack film comes uh, in a cardboard box usually and you want to make sure that you don't press on the top and bottom just to make sure the pods don't explode. So you open it from the top. We're just going to open it and let the film fall out. We're going to discard the box. And then you want to make sure not to hold it from the top and use these two notches to tear it open and slide it out. All right, now let's load this back. We're going to open the latch, open the back as far as it will go, and take the uh, pack film that we just opened and we're going to push it in as far as it will go back and down. We're going to load the frame side towards the dark slide so that this is facing the lens. I'm going to push it back in all the way and down as far as it will go. to make sure all these tabs are loose and free before I close it. And I'm going to close the latch and I'm ready to take out the black backing paper so that we're going to be ready to shoot. The next stage just before shooting is we have to take the black backing paper out. This is a protective paper that allows us to transport the pack film without exposing anything. And to get it ready to shoot, we have to take it out and we're just gonna pull it out just like a sheet of film and discard it. I'm gonna load the back onto the graph lock system of this camera. I'm gonna remove the ground glass and set it aside. I'm gonna place the back on the back and put in the latches. Here's how to remove the ground glass on uh, several different cameras. I'm going to set the lens. I'm going to remove the dark slide. You want to pull it back as far as it will go without snapping out. It just makes it easier to push it back in. Take the shot, close the dark slide. Just be sure before you pull the tab that you hold down on the back in the camera so you don't, you don't yank the whole thing out of the camera. And now I'm gonna watch my clock for 90 seconds or the appropriate time depending on temperature. And I'm gonna start now. Remember to pull the film out in one decisive, long and continuous stroke so that it doesn't snag or stop in the middle. That will reduce the amount of artifacts and inconsistencies in processing. Now we're gonna wait, we don't have to shake it, we don't have to do anything. We're just gonna wait for about 90 seconds until we get our image. Got about 10 seconds now, and I'm just gonna demonstrate real quick how do we pull the print off the paper. We wanna pull it from one of these corners, okay? Not from here or anything like that. And yeah, we're ready to go. There we go. All right, now that we have our shot and our negative, uh, the shot's all set. The negative can actually be reclaimed. We can bleach out the black part and use this and get a really nice color negative out of it, or we can transfer the remaining emulsion from the negative to a clean piece of paper and get the funky color, kind of psychedelic look of an image. This is basically everything that we have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.